Good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. It is Thursday, the 23rd of April, and it's great to see so many of you joining us for this morning's assembly. Thank you also for the superb feedback on yesterday's assembly, and it was great to hear that you enjoyed all of the segments um, from teachers across the school. Looking through some of the work that you've done from yesterday, similar, similarly impressive day, with all of you getting really stuck in to your um, virtual classes. As always, if you have any problems accessing any of the, the classrooms in your timetable, please do drop us a call and we'll do everything that we can to make sure that you're back online as quickly as possible. Similarly, if you are working from home and don't have access to a computer or a laptop yet, um, please do get in touch with us and there is plenty of equipment um, that we can borrow, uh, we can lend for you. So for example, if you're working on a tablet device or if you're working on a mobile telephone, um, please do get in touch with us and we've got some Chromebooks in school that we can lend you to make that learning online um, so much easier. Today, I'm pleased that we are joined by Miss Shallow, Miss Collier, uh, Miss Mush, Miss Draper and Miss Delver. In a second, I'm gonna hand over um, to Miss Shallow but um, um, everyone at home, have a fantastic day. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all the great stuff that you're doing online. Miss Shallow. Good morning, everyone. Happy St. George's Day. Um, I'll start off by introducing our today's assembly. Happy Ramadan, Kareem. This simply means, may your Ramadan be generous. Tonight at 8 p.m., as we all get ready to clap for our health workers, the Muslims in our community will also be joining Muslims across the world to begin preparations for this year's Ramadan. Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam and is based on the lunar calendar. This evening's preparation will begin with prayers and for the next 30 days, starting at sunrise tomorrow, Muslims of fasting age cannot drink or eat during daylight hours. The act of fasting is said to redirect the heart away from worldly activities, its purpose being to cleanse the soul by freeing it from harmful impurities. Muslims believe that Ramadan teaches them to practice self-discipline, self-control, sacrifice and empathy for those who are less fortunate thus encouraging actions of generosity and charity. Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection, self-improvement and a heightened devotion and worship. Now, after Ramadan is over, Muslims have a three day celebration called Eid. This is the festival of the breaking of the fast, where people come together to eat, enjoy time with family and friends, as well as exchange gifts. Now, Ramadan is remembered as the month in which Prophet Muhammad received the first revelations that makes up the Quran. I will now pass you over to Ms. Collier, who has some well-being tips for today. Have a lovely day, guys. And just to end my section, Ramadan Mubarak, which simply means have a blessed Ramadan. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Shallow. Um, hello to everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, my wellbeing tip for the day, it's about mindfulness. So as I spoke about yesterday, we need to look for the small things around us that can help us feel grateful for what we do have at this strange time. So if you look at the Facebook and the Twitter pages today, you'll find that we've uploaded some mindfulness colouring sheets on there. So something to kind of take you away from your cluttered mind, maybe something to take you away from the stresses of online learning that you're all doing. And maybe at break time or lunchtime or after school, um, just have a look at the colouring and just see if you can just relax your mind and go to a happier place for a few hours or 20 minutes, depending on how fast you are colouring. There are two on there. There's one that talks about how today will be awesome. The sun is shining. It is another wonderful day. So that is a good one to look at. Or the British Red Cross um, have created some colouring sheets that talk about kindness and how kindness will keep us together and will help us see our way through this strange and unusual time. So please do have a look at the social media pages. 
um, have a go. It would be really wonderful if you could download them or create your own and share them with us. We'd love to see what you've been up to and love to see some of your mindfulness colouring. Have a lovely day. I hope you do get to enjoy the sun on your uh, one lot of exercise as well. I'm going to pass over to Miss Mush now, who has the birthday shout outs for today. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. But this is a special morning for Joyce Ruff, who is in year nine. And it is your birthday today. And your zodiac sign is Aries, which means that you are born on April 14. You are characterized by generosity. You're a kind person. You are positive. You are fun loving. And do you know what? You care about a lot of people. So I hope today others are taking care of you and you have an absolutely fantastic day. Happy birthday to you. Now I'm passing over to Mrs. Draper. Thank you, Miss Mush, and good morning, everybody. Um, it's lovely to be here with you today. Um, and happy birthday to Joyce. I hope you have a lovely day. Now, um, Joyce, you share your birthday with a rather special man, the big man himself, um, William Shakespeare. Um, William Shakespeare, I'm actually not going to tell you how old he is because I'm going to uh, speak to you about something else first, but then we will, we will dis uh, discuss his age today. Um, but yesterday, students in year seven, eight and nine took part in a drama lesson uh, where we acknowledged Shakespeare's birthday. Um, and the first thing I did was I set you guys a challenge to send me a message and tell me how old Shakespeare would be today. Um, loads of you rose to the challenge and sent me a message. Um, and I said I would give a shout out to the first person to give me the correct answer. Now, I'm not going to list everybody who did get it correct because there were so many of you. Quite a few people did send me a message saying Shakespeare's 52 or Shakespeare's going to be 53 tomorrow, um, which is a little bit concerning. I'm sorry to break the news to you guys, but Shakespeare actually died over 400 years ago. So he's not celebrating his 53rd birthday today. Um, but I understand where that mistake came from because Shakespeare died, we think, when he was 52. So I think that's where that mistake came from. Um, but Shakespeare would today be turning 456. So when I gave you that clue that he's older than me, you know, I didn't narrow it down too much for you. Um, but well done to the many of you who sent me the correct answer, but a big shout out to Ellie Butler in year eight, who sent me the correct answer so fast, she was, we, we'd barely got into the main task and there she was sending me a message, 456, well done. And a shout out to year eight, who uh, was the year group who gave me the most correct answers, so well done. Now, in that lesson, I set you guys a challenge um, and we looked at the prologue from Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, the most famous love story ever told, possibly the most famous story ever told. Um, and I set you the challenge to perform that prologue. I performed it for you. I, get, I gave you my version, which wasn't great, a lockdown version. Um, and I asked you to do better. And so many of you rose to that challenge as well. Um, so well done. Now, if any of you um, didn't do the video and did the written task, but are thinking, oh, I wish I'd kind of challenged myself and had to go at filming myself, you can still do it. I'm more than happy to watch some more of you. Um, it's a really good way to kind of acknowledge Shakespeare's birthday. And I have edited some of the clips together um, and I'm gonna share those with Mr. Napier today. But if there's anybody in any other years, year 10, especially my year 10 drama students, I'd love to see you having a go at this task as well. Staff, why not have a go at reading the prologue from Romeo and Juliet? Um, or any staff children. I'd like to give a shout out to Toby Priscott, who's been doing loads of the drama work um, at home in Miss Priscott's household. Well done, Toby. By all means, share the love, guys, um, and celebrate the big man's birthday. Just before I go, I want to just mention three students. I've picked a star performer from year seven, eight, and nine, um, who I was, I mean, I was really impressed by everyone, but I've picked one star performer from each year group. So um, in year seven, Amy Wallace, well done. Um, fantastic facial expression and tone of voice in your performance. In year eight, Harry Murray, you gave a very clear, um, strong performance of that prologue. Well done. And in year nine, Joseph Turner, you had the body language, you had the tone of voice and you had some lovely gestures in there as well. So well done, guys. Um, 
keep uh, keep watching any live theatre. I shared some with, uh, some links with you in the last newsletter, and I will share some more again. Um, great if you if you run out of things to watch on TV and Netflix, go and watch something from the National Theatre. It's free. Make the most of it. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you all have a lovely day, um, and I'm going to pass on to uh, Miss Delva now for the last messages. Thank you very much, Ms. Draper. That was lovely. Good morning, everybody. A final word of advice from us. Make sure that you're safe and you look after yourselves and people around you by staying at home. Um, do not go out by any <clears throat> for any reason other than an emergency, okay? You must also wash your hands very often and that means you need to rub your hands for at least 20 seconds to make sure that your hands are really really clean uh, you must also make sure to uh, stay fit and healthy so you watch your diet make sure you drink lots of water okay a bit of exercise right and um find a final word from me if you have to go out make sure that you respect the two meter rule do not stand or walk less than two meters away from people. Thank you very much. That's it for today. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.